your next Salesforce interview just like this stick with these questions. The first question says that what is the difference between double equals to operator and triple equals to operator in LWC or JavaScript? So let us understand you might have always seen this double equals to operator and triple equals to operator used by multiple developers. But what is the exact meaning of it? So let's understand with a real time example. Let's say I have a variable A and I'm using double equals to operator and along with that I'm using B variable along with this, right? I'm comparing A and B and the value of A is 2 whereas the value of the B is also 2. Now if you are using double equals to operator, what it's going to do is it's going to compare the value of the two variables. So what is the value of the variable 2? What is the value of the B variable is also 2 and it's going to return true. Okay, the return here would be true because it just checks the value, right? So if it is 2 and it is also 2, then it is going to return true itself. On the other hand, if you are using triple equals to operator, it not only compares the value of the variable, but it also compares the types of the variable. So let's consider 2 again with the triple equals to as 2. In such cases, it will compare the value of the variable is 2. The right side value and the left side value, both of the variables have the value as 2. But it will also check the type of the variable and only then it will return true. So the type of the variable over here is integer and here it is also integer. And that is the reason why it is going to go ahead and return you true in such scenarios. So triple equals to compares the value of the variable along with the type of the variable. Whereas double equals to just takes the value of the variable. Let's move on to the next question. That is what is Korshin in JavaScript? So it's a concept that refers to the automatic conversion of a value from one type to another. So let me explain you what do I mean by that is. Let's say if you are using 2 plus 2 or 2 plus string 2 right over here you will get the value as 22 in JavaScript. Okay 2 plus 20, uh, 2 which is a string type of value you will get the value as 22 and it will be also a string. So what actually happened over here is you comp you added an integer and you added a int string and it got converted to a string. So what happened is there was an automatic conversion of a variable or automatic conversion of a value and that's what is called as in specific implicit coercion. Okay. Now there is an order in which the coercion happens. First is a string, priority string. Next is a number. And next final one is nothing but the boolean. What do I mean by that is now if you see right now I have one as integer and another one as a string. So why did it not become 4 and why did it become 22? The reason is because as per as the coercion the string is given higher priority and as string is given higher priority 2 is an integer this is a string as string has the higher priority it will uh, concatenate instead of adding it concatenate and it will convert it into a 22 and the whole variable will also become the value as 22 in the string format because string has the higher priority now before moving to the next question if you are looking for a developer level project that will force you to go through apex custom objects flows and even lwc based on the approach you select you can get it by clicking the link from the description and also you can connect with me for a next interview uh, for the mock interview itself by clicking the top mid link below. Let's move on to the last question that is what is the difference between null and undefined. Now this is very important because when you are doing null checking in JavaScript it's very different as compared to that of the traditional null checking. You just don't do it not equals to null. You have to do undefined checking as well. And I'll tell you why the reason is and you should understand the difference between them first of all. So when you create a variable let's say x and you assign a value to the uh, variable as null then it becomes null. So basically null is not I mean it's just not a value but it's actually a value okay which does not defines anything. It's a value that define does not defines anything okay so null is itself a value okay. On the other hand if you just declare a variable and do not assign any value to it then that's where it becomes undefined. So null is a value undefined is a we can say whenever a variable is declared and have no value assigned that's where it becomes undefined and when you are going to use javascript you have to do both the checking null checking and undefined checking both at the like both at the same time if you want to uh, execute properly because sometimes the variable uh, returns undefined or sometimes it defines null so that's the reason why you have to do both this null checking so this was all about the interview questions that i had to discuss 
If you found this video helpful, I request you to please like this video and subscribe to my channel.